Uh, I don't know if there's an intro. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Out on a Limb. Hello. We don't have Odin here. We don't know what we're doing. That's not true. You have me. That all doesn't I know, help. I know the theme. That's all I know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> essentially, we're doing a little bit of the continuation of the last video. Oh, horrifying. Okay. <laughs> yes, but uh, can't quite get as dark. <laughs> I've been uh, shown the uh, edits and... Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I didn't really take that into account when I first started this. I was just so excited to talk about things. Yeah. yeah. Understandable. But essentially what we're going to be talking about today is mainly going to be talking about creepypastas. Seeing how it's still Spooktober and Inktober and whatever the hell you want to call it. We're still in that spooky feeling, so we're going to continue by talking about some of the scary stories that are mainly circling on the internet, which is just creepypastas in general. Ooh. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, that's, the, that's the reason why I'm uh, on this show, actually, because uh, he loves on the my creepypasta. I love creepypasta, actually, enough so on my personal channel, I narrate uh, creepypastas and uh, SCPs. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's what I do. Yeah. Actually, if you're watching it on this channel, you've probably have seen some of my work. Yeah. I I don't actually watch the channel very frequently. <laughs> I mean or or even read Twisted's fan fictions, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm literally just here because I was offered to be here. <laughs> I mean, you get a job, you take it. <laughs> yeah. 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 $20 is $20, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get onto the onto the topic of the day. Um, Atlas. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. It is Atlas, Snick, uh, and I, once again, Hunter Girl, are back here again for Out on a Limb. Why am I the only consistent person and I'm not even part of this? Hey, <laughs> this is the second time I've been in one. This is the first time I've been in one. And I'm like the out of these things. This is like the fifth time I've been in one. I know it. And still no. <sighs> oh. hmm? We're still missing our quote unquote guy who's supposed to be in here but never is. Ooh. Twisted. Yes, Twisted is never <laughs> actually in these damn things. One second, I'm gonna go spam him on Discord real quick. No, don't spam he's, him. He's, he's working, he's working. This thing. He's doing his job when he's not here. But, uh, Atlas, is there any particular creepypasta you would like to talk about? Uh, I I can't really think of any good ones. I know I did narrate everyone recently. It's probably already been up. Yeah, it's already been up on the channel. But um, that was the last thing I've uh, narrated uh, recently. And that was a uh, Harbor Experiment. It was a fairly interesting one, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Basically about a uh, quick rundown. It's about a... Uh, it's from a perspective of a uh, doctor and part of that was part of an ex uh, part of the staff running an experiment to find out about uh, basically metaphysical things like things outside of our existence, and yeah. it goes horribly wrong as do most group of pastas. Mm -hmm. I mean, how could you ever expect an experiment to like some, that to go correct? <laughs> ever, they always go wrong without a fail. I mean. We've seen enough sci-fi uh, sci horror movies to know where this is going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's pretty familiar with Slender Man. I mean, there was video games made after him and everything. And that crappy Sony movie that was made. Yeah, I was not a big fan of that movie. I, there were a lot of things they could have done, but they just missed Didn't out on it. It just kind of made me sad. Here's a lot of yeah. Yeah. Which I is mean, a shame because the actual story of Slender Man is such a good story. Well, well, the lore that was made of it. Uh, yeah, the lore. If you actually want to watch a better like thing that shows Slender Man like stories and stuff, uh, I'm gonna shill out to another channel here. <laughs> uh, the series uh, Marble Hornets is a really good uh, found footage like Slender Man series. It went on for like three or four seasons. Yeah. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't watched it myself. I've heard really good things of it. Well, by good things, I mean back when I was in high school, someone watched the, like a lot of like what what was released at that point. Enough so that we actually got he was actually like afraid of Slender Man in the real world. Mm, my. <laughs> yeah, and this is in like high school, so not necessarily young people. Yeah. It's like the mm. whole like what is it like uh psycho like psycho thing back in like uh when psycho I mean, first came out. Yeah. There were those two girls that like actually attempted to murder one of their friends to appease Slenderman. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was an actual court case. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you just love it when you want to be with your murder waifu so much you try and actually murder a friend of yours? Or your murder husbando. <laughs> Yeah, murder husbando in this case. <laughs> well, on the topic of murder husbandos, um, I think one of the other really popular creep bosses would be Jeff the Killer and Laughing Jack. Jeff the Killer is one of those like, like basically, it was like this. It's one of like the classic uh, creep bosses. It's not necessarily scary anymore, but it's definitely been built up on for you know ages now. Yeah, so anyone who's at least getting in the cookie classes, they have to at least check out those two at the beginning when they first start out. Haha, uh, jokes on all you never got into creepy pastas, never seen them. Uh, what I, do you I, think? I listen and read them. Oh, God. <laughs> but <laughs> there's a bunch of interesting ones. It's like creepy pastas, like classic ones, because they, that, there's also a mild dog. That, that's one. Yeah, Smile Dog, Ben Drowned. Ben Drowned. Apparently, I someone was, someone I actually has like a, yeah. Apparently, someone actually has a playthrough of the Ben Drowned uh, game. Wait, really? Yeah, it it's def it's obviously like a fake, like modded version of it, but it's like it's based on the descriptions given in the actual creepy pasta. Oh, someone, okay. It's on YouTube, I think. I heard about it like you know ages ago. Yeah. Gonna be honest, I don't know what's going on here. Um. <laughs> creepy stories. Uh, there's a creepy pasta. Basically, the Ben Drown creepy pasta is about a haunted copy of Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask, and some guy picks it up from like a garage sale, and there's a save on it called Ben. Uh, the person deletes the save, but uh, when they start playing the game, it doesn't play how Legend of Zelda plays normally, and a bunch of weird shit happens. And through oh. And by figuring it out, figures out that there was supposedly a kid named Ben that obviously drowned and ended up haunting his favorite game, which was that Majora, copy of Majora's Mask. Hmm. But yeah, there's a lot of creepypastas and just scary stories in general. Yeah, I know specifically this is creepypastas. Yeah. This yeah. Week. I think... Out of all the creepypastas I've read over the years, I still have to say one of my two fo top favorites, it's always going to be Tiki Topi and Clockwork. Yeah, those, I've not read those personally. I've heard I, really, I really love those two. I love those two so much. Because hmm. it's essentially the story with Tiki Toby. His name is Toby, and uh, why he's called Tiki Toby is because he has Tourette's and he can't help but twitch. And huh. he was also born with a rare disease where he's immune to pain. He can't feel any pain at all. Oh, boy. It's just like, like uh, you know, when you get a hangnail and stuff and you pull that off, and normally you, like, take in a deep breath of air because it kind of stings. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. He would feel nothing for that. He would just keep going until it's just bloody. Hmm. Oh, my. And uh, you know, actually, there are like some there. There's some medical conditions that do stuff like that, where you can't feel pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually like really bad. Yeah, that's what's, because... that's what's interesting. Is at the beginning of uh, Tiki Toby's story. This isn't much of a spoiler for if you haven't read it already or listened to it. Me, it's me. a pr it's a pretty well known story, but how it starts off is Tiki Toby is sitting in his mother's car wearing a hospital gown and his mother's eyes are like filled with tears look like she'd been crying for hours and essentially what happened 
was Toby's older sister was going to take him to school that day in her car, and a semi came and just smashed the front of the car, and his sister died, but he didn't feel a single pain from the car wreck. Jesus. Like, it's not that he doesn't have emotions. Like, yeah, he can still be sad. Like, he was crying about his sister and everything. He can still be emotionally pained. Yeah, he can still be emotionally pained, but as far as actually feeling the car itself smash against his body and the glass cutting him, he couldn't yeah. feel a single thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Those medical the medical conditions that do that are quite dangerous because that also uh, sometimes will also make it to where you can't feel internal pain either. Mm -hmm. So you can actually be feeling like something ter completely terrible, like something like your heart, like, your stomach has blown up inside your chest and you can't feel it. Yeah, you know, or like okay. or like a, appendicitis happens and you just don't feel realize that your appendix is erupting. Yeah, and you're like dying, and you're just like, eh, it's whatever, it's an everyday thing. Yeah. Until you fall over dead. Literally, yeah. But, like, to continue on with Toby and everything, it's the story is just him trying to get over the, try to, like, cope with the missing of his sister and just the emotions he's going through. And his father, he resents him because he didn't come to the hospital when they were rushed to the ER and everything. He wasn't there. He was drunk, so he couldn't drive. Oh, boy. Oh, so he had God. this, he has the resent for his father because of that. And slowly he starts to have psychological issues. He starts seeing Slenderman at night outside his window. Oh, yeah, I remember this was a Slenderman. One of the Slenderman mm -hmm. Yeah, he's one, of, he's one of Slenderman's proc proxy proxies. Proxies. Woo. Wonderful Slenderman proxies. And so essentially it escalates to the point where Toby just snaps. Oh no. And he takes one of his father's hatchets out of the shed and gets revenge on his father. I mean... <laughs> are you about to defend, I mean, are you about to defend this psychopathic killer here? Uh... <laughs> his father was abusing him, his mother, and his sister. I would say points for creativity, but that's not very creative. Personally, I would have used, like, acid or something. Yeah, but no, how, like, I can't really describe it as well as the person I like to listen, which is Mr. Creepypasta. He's a really good hey. person for reading creepypastas. Yeah. But... And and how he just explains how Toby goes about it is just, it's a whole nother level, and I really enjoy the story and how it ends with him just disappearing into the woods with two hatchets and his mother just crying about the fact that his son just murdered someone, his own father, and then they hear that quote-unquote Toby Roger, his full name, had quote-unquote died but he didn't die because she saw him like a few months later outside in the woods at night and she thought it was just an illusion at first. Dun, dun, oh, dun. Yeah. Foreshadowing. And that's literally where they end it is her seeing her son and she's like, I thought he died. Dun, oh, she's, dun, she's dead. Dun. Get, get the piano sting. <laughs> And then um, my other creepy, favorite creepypasta is the clockwork. Now that already sounds horrifying. Oh, oh no, I it, love her. I love her so much. That doesn't she make has, it less creepy. That doesn't, that doesn't, <laughs> okay, just because it's you, that doesn't comfort me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so essentially with uh, clockwork, her story is... Uh, I haven't listened to her in forever, but I still pretty much remember most of it. It's just some of it's a little fuzzy because it's been a while, but her name is Natalie. Is her, her real name is Natalie. And she had brown eyes and brown hair. This is something very important to keep and keep this in your mind. Okay. Brown eyes, brown hair. Okay. Her proxy form is brown hair emerald green eyes. Oh, Slender Man, again. <laughs> yes, another proxy, hello. But how Slender that comes man. to be is 
she and I've noticed a lot of creepy pastas usually have abusive fam uh, family members. I mean, a lot of horrors. That that just comes from horror in general. A lot of horror characters, like, kill like horror movie killers, have fairly uh, unhealthy uh, home life. Yeah, so if I'm remembering it correctly, I think it was either her father or her mother that was abusing her, but uh, she would kind of like zone out a cl out of just zone out all the time. And she was in the middle of a test one day and she just her entire page was blank. She couldn't answer any question and literally the thing the teacher told her was your time is up and just took the paper from her. And that, that's another really important quote to remember is your time is up. Oh, but oh. she's just kind of like saddened by all this stuff. And her mom is always telling her, well, you need the smile. Oh, boy. Smiling, psycho smiling psychopathic killers. <laughs> and um, Sounds like Hunter Girl. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't killed anyone as far as I know. You see, that's not comforting. <laughs> You'll never find the bodies. No, I'm comforting. <laughs> but um, essentially, she's just she doesn't know why, but she's staring at herself in the mirror, and she takes a razor and she cuts a smile shape onto her face. Go on, go smile! Oh boy. <laughs> and her mother, her mom, freaks out about this, and like bandages her up and everything, and tries to get her some help so she takes her to a mental institution mm -hmm. and the doctors that's where it gets kind of fucked up is because the doctors did tests on her without her mother's consent or her consent and injected her with all kinds of different serums to try and see if it would fix her but instead of fixing her it made oh, her hair God. dark brown and have her brown eyes go to dark emerald mm. Mm. Science experiments. This sounds like more horror movie stuff. Mm hmm. And what essentially happens is she just snaps one day in the uh, mental ward. She goes on a killing spree, uh -huh. taking just some simple kitchen knives from the uh, cafe area in the uh, mental institution and just kills all of her doctors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Proceeds to make a ma macaroni, uh, pet pork, uh, pet macaroni art with entrails. Hmm. They're not necessarily macaroni at that point. Yeah, but you know she treated <laughs> them like that, and she had cut her face again, and then took, uh, like thread and sewed her mouth to be in a wicked, crooked smile, hmm. and I believe t dug out her left eye and replaced it with a clock piece. Mm. And the entire time that she was killing, she kept saying, your time is up. Well, then. You see, okay, so I think we should do a special episode on uh, coping methods <laughs> and what are not healthy coping <laughs> methods. Uh, unhealthy coping method number one. Serial murder. I mean, I don't know. Personally, I think that's a pretty healthy coping method. <laughs> anonymous. Uh, please stand up and state your names. <laughs> Hi, my name is Natalie, and I'm a killer. Hi, Hi Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, your turn. <laughs> Hi, my name is Toby. And what's your coping method, Toby? Oh, I, uh, I, uh, 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 um, have the tendency to ha hack people up. Or murder. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> okay. Uh, so moving on. So, um, Laughing Jack, what's your coping mechanism? Oh, well, you know, turning people into furniture. <laughs> Oh, that's freaking good. Okay. Fuck. What is it? Leatherface or something like that. Yeah. Or, or that one killer. I forget his name. Freaking made. What a bright Leatherface. No, it's like if Leatherface is based on an actual killer. Oh, I, okay. I, I forgot. I 
forgot his name, but basically he, well, I don't know if he actually killed anyone, but he would go to graves, dig up women's corpses, and use their bodies for things. Huh. Like, uh, oh. he had, <clears throat> probably demonetized here, uh, he had, like, oh. one, of, one of the big things, he, like, there's, like, a few things, like, he had, like, a suit made out of uh, women's skin. Uh, he had a lampshade <laughs> made out of human skin and a belt made out of human nipples. Yeah. All right. Um, and as for the demonetization, I think that happened like at the beginning the of moment, the video. No, the moment they saw that you were here, Hunter. Aww, I'm <laughs> I honored. Were, if anything, it'd probably be me because I'm the one that actually does horror content on YouTube. <laughs> Yes, but Hunter but, yeah. Girl is the weird, this terrifying one. Yeah, uh, Atlas, I have something to show you, but it'll have to be after a uh, podcast, because I'm pretty sure we can't post it on YouTube. Oh, boy. But I found the photo of someone who did the artwork of clockwork uh, turning people into macaroni art. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that, that'd just be good. <laughs> just DM it. <laughs> Let, let's see it. All right, hold on. Then Save onward, image. Onward to a... Uh... Here, wait. Actually, I have a better idea. Let me just put something together. <laughs> okay. Um, Beck. Oh, yeah, I sent okay. it to you, by the way, Snake. Oh. I sent it. Right. Oh. Okay. No, I, I love macaroni art. <laughs> yeah, I, I love macaroni art as well. <laughs> I think you would I have to say that to, uh, to avoid being murdered. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, you're still definitely getting murdered based on oh, the for, here. Without a stout, you're getting murdered. <laughs> These remind me of freaking... Okay, now that reminds me of freaking, like, Japanese urban legends and stuff. Oh, yeah, I like, love the Japanese uh, urban uh, legends. Japanese have, like, the best, um, mythology. Yeah, it's... Okay. The, the, um... Oh, God, what's it called? Spider, spider lady. The spider yokai. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that story? Yeah. It ends with the guy being told to not try and marry the spider demon. His completely logical response is to go and jump into her cave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you hear about the one where it's the, uh, if you're walking alone at night and you see a woman that comes up to you and asks you if she's pretty? Uchi Sakiona. Yep. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. No, but, that sounds about right. Uh, slip, mouth, uh, slip mouth woman. Uh, it's translated. And she yeah, asked you, am I she's pretty? wearing like she's wearing like one of those like medical mat, like those uh, surgical masks and stuff. She asks if you're pretty, and you well, you'll probably answer. Uh, story has it that she's fairly pretty, so yeah, you would probably more than likely say, yeah, here you're pretty. And then she'll take off her mask and say, am I pretty now? She has a, her mouth is slit like from like ear to ear and stuff. And basically, no matter what you say, she kills you. <laughs> So like if you yep. say that she's pretty, she'll give you a smile herself, unlike hers, which will obviously kill you. And if you say no, she gets mad and kills you. So yeah, fun. That, that's, that's how it is with a lot of just not just Japanese, but like like Asiatic culture, like mm -hmm. monsters like that. Is that if you meet one, you are royally fucked. <laughs> if you meet one, yeah. Oh, another good uh, creepy pasta that. Originally we started as a meme was the Momo creepypasta for a while. Oh yeah, that that image. I don't like the sound of that. You it know was... what's funny? It's actually a, a mother bird, but because the sculpting the 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 statue was so creepy to everyone, she demolished it so no one could make those comments anymore. She destroyed her own artwork because of people. I mean it looked really creepy. But she didn't mean it, mean it for it to come out that way. It was supposed to be a mother bird. Which is with a little bit of realism to it. It did not look like a mother bird. <laughs> it really didn't. I'm going to, just based on that comment, I'm going to look at, I'm going to search for this, but I'm going to search for it in, um... Incognito? In, incognito. Oh, it's ye of little faith. Momo. What's wrong with yes. this being searched? It's because of you. Aww, I'm honored. honored. Okay, ba but basically, there's, also, there's an art religion uh, surrounding that as well. Yeah, about it's, the Momo. Yeah, it's basic. It's like basically there's like a it's for, it's in like South America. There's like a South American artist or something. Uh, like, when to go? Oh dear Jesus! You why? 
<laughs> yeah, that crazy. I, I can't really. I can't look at the images. It, it fucking creeps me out. Oh, sweet Jesus, why? Yeah, yeah essentially, her yeah, is yes, like, if, if okay, she no. comes into your, isn't if she shows up at your in your dreams, you're gonna die. No, that's the generic thing. But it's no, it's like base. Oh, no, it's a, it was a basically an actual thing. There was a like social media app in like in like South America or something, and um. It's like one of the things is um you can find an account that uses that picture that like uses that and it's called Momo and yeah. if you message like you message it most of the time it ignores you but sometimes it'll message you back and it'll be really aggressive messages like if you message them back like they'll message you back but nothing really happens it's just a creepy creepy thing that dumb that nor- like nine times out of ten doesn't respond but then yeah. that one time responds will be really aggressive that's all it does that's all it did. It's just like, oh, that's a creepy statue uh, thing. <laughs> I don't like this. This is not here. <laughs> One second. This I need not... to. I, I need to go bleach my brain cells. Go go find find eye bleach. Go find some eye bleach. Yeah. Look, look at pictures yep. of cute puppies. Or like. Cute I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, instead of looking at puppies, do you want to go ahead and take a look at this? Uh, week's submission of Inktober? Uh, it's not really this week's because there's not really that many uh, whoops. That, uh, Still something at least. Yeah, there weren't really many. Uh, this is actually say, like last week and a couple weeks ago. So I don't know if it was actually grabbed. But it doesn't really have anything to do with Inktober, but it's really cool art. Basically. Yeah. So, uh, let me bring it up. Ooh! Ah! Grip, where is I am sorry about that. You're but yeah, fine. so here's some art. Uh, I forgot the person's name because I am a professional streamer. Because <laughs> I, t- <laughs> I am a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. I forget people's names. But, uh, yeah. Uh, solos, solos art. All right. Yeah, solo. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple, couple Star Wars submissions. So, so this is a uh, well, obviously a Star Destroyer. Uh, My God, that man is so good at this. Yeah. For sure, it's or so pretty. Person. Yeah. I don't know they, if it's a man. I I tend to just go with the day at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, Ooh. yeah. Another that's also another Star Wars ship. I forgot the uh, race. That's the Mon Calamari. Mon, I was about to say that's probably Mon Calamari just because of how it looks. Oh, Admiral oh. Akbar. He's Mon it's Calamari. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> and there goes D or there goes monetization because uh granted it was already gone. It was already <laughs> gone. Now now copyright strikes. Copyright. Oh Only boy. for a few seconds, we'll survive. Here's some other stuff. Uh, you are. Oh my! The amount of DACA on that is glorious. Ah, <gasps> yes. Oh, all the guns. Cease all the DACA. And assist. All <laughs> the DACA. Not as much DACA, but it's still a cool ship. Cool ship. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. I mean, it I has missiles. So. Wait, I'm I'm seeing. Okay, so the front, the front. I, I looked at the front and then I looked at the back and I noticed it's like a what's it called? The ship in Star Wars um feck. I forgot. I know it's not the Millennial Falcon. You like don't a, say it's like a rebel cruiser. Yeah, something. like yeah. one of the rebel cl- cruiser thing with jiggers. No, I was thinking the um like dreadnought or something. Are those <laughs> like the weird the no, that was for last week's photos. There's more ship. Ah. Done. More ship. Okay, what I'm noticing about a lot of these... Ships. Is, well, they look like some of the ones we've previously looked at, but with even more guns, and that just makes me happy. <laughs> more guns and more detail. More yeah. DACA. Exactly. Which is just always wonderful. Everything I... looks more DACA. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should put DACA on the DACA. <laughs> What if we had a gun that had guns on it that shot guns that shot? More Yo, dog, guns. I heard you More like guns. I put guns on your guns. 
Now we're gonna, we're gonna get Borderlands territory now with that. <laughs> a gun that shoots guns. That's just Warhammer 40k. And it's also a gun. <laughs> it's also a gun. Now we're putting your ruby to this. What fandoms can we bring into now? Okay, so I'm looking at this one, and I feel like we've looked at it before. I think so. Yeah, actually, yeah, I uh, remember. It's a. Uh, it looks like the center of this ship. Yeah, it looks like those two yeah. ships come apart. Yeah. Wait. It wait. literally it's looks like. Look at the, look at the one in between. Look, look at the one in between, real quick. Yeah, it literally looks like the other sides that part the other one are a okay, docking wait. system, and they just let's go. Wait. Okay. Could you look at that? All right. Now go back to the uh for the last one. Uh. Yeah, that one. It's literally like the inner dock, the inner system of that one. Yeah. It makes me feel like it's a docking system where it's all one ship, but then that middle one detaches and continues on its own, and the other two continue on their own. To me, it it makes me feel like it's a um, like it's it, it's actually made by the same group. Yeah. There's several ships made by the same. Same company, same group. Yeah. 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 Like just that's awesome. I yeah. still don't know how that guy or how that person does it. Yeah, like yeah, oh it's, my god, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. That all right. Basically, let's just t stop screen sharing. <laughs> stop. What? That's that's how okay. it's used. It's back to normal now. You're good. It's just frozen on my screen. Oof. Uh -oh. Oof. oh no. Mine's working just fine. Mine mine's working well. Oh well aren't you just so lucky? Why don't you try clicking off of it and clicking on somewhere else? Oh okay. it's also it, it's also basically just audio anyways, so That's yeah. fair. Yeah, none of that really Podcast. <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> but uh Stole. yeah. Atlas, seeing how I talked a little bit of some of my favorite ones, do you want to talk about some more of your favorite creepypastas? I'm, I'm trying to think of some. My horror knowledge is like split amongst so many things. I, so it's like difficult for me to try to pinpoint things. Because I have, I have like urban legends, I have uh, mythos, I have Lovecraftian horror, I... Like, we can oh, talk about those. Those so are fun much to talk about. Joy, Lovecraft. Don't you just love the guy that was so racist and even racist and he was racist. Yeah. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's how and it wasn't just like race racism. It was the racism to the point of you are a lower breed than me. Yeah, same maybe. race. Same race, but you're a lower breed. Is basically if you're not a uh, a rich white person, white man. rich white rich. man of uh, Norwegian, I think uh, it has to descent. be incredibly far northern. Yeah, like if you're Norwegian super... descent. <laughs> yeah, like, Norwegian. Uh, somewhere that, that Scandinavia uh, area. Fin Finland gets too close to Russian. Yeah. Um, England is okay for some of the part. As long as you're not like Scottish England. or Irish, I think. If you're Scottish or Irish, then you can just go die. Um, basically, <laughs> if you basically if you weren't if you if Lovecraft didn't see you like hey how he saw himself, you were both you he hated you. <laughs> Ow. Clearly of a lower breed. Yeah. I feel offended. Yeah, Lovecraft anyway. was yeah. He was also terrified of anything that wasn't just basic two plus two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he also was basically afraid of anything that wasn't his hometown. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was or, a... you know, the funniest thing would be if you just went and showed him like a basic science textbook. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, um... show, show him the uh, the electromagnetic spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he would implode on himself. I mean, that's how. What is it? Uh... That, that's colors from space. The colors from space. Yeah, the a color I never wore seen before. Yeah. Uh, which is, if you think about it, that's actually pretty interesting it's like if you actually think about it it's like it's a color that we as humans have never seen that's if you actually take it just at its core that's interesting yeah, yeah actually and then it goes into weird crafting horror, horror but yeah. you know beyond that yeah What's actually i i have on my shelf right now a really interesting bit of pigment and it's <laughs> it's the um 
short, simple, or whatever, black pigment. Mm -hmm. And what's special about it is it absorbs something like 99.7 or something percent of all light. Oh, it's like near Vanta Black. Like that stuff. It, it's more, it's stronger than Vanta Black. And probably not as toxic as Vanta Black, because that's the re. <laughs> Good old yeah. fucking Ish Kapoor. <laughs> <laughs> there's, but, there's a really yeah. funny thing about that. So it's like a. I'm sorry. <laughs> this stuff this is like. Just... Yeah. But yeah, no, this is made by the people that uh, they got really. Th this is the stuff that has the. Uh, if you are in any way connected to Kish, uh, Kish, Kishpar, Anish Kapoor, Anish Kapoor, yeah. American Bar Mara. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're related, if you if you if do any have dealings anything, with them, you're not allowed to touch this stuff or even look at it. Yeah. 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 I it ordered. Really, it's just really funny. I have, I have 50 <laughs> grams of black. Yeah, I know there's a uh, what is it? Pinkest pink is by the same artist. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I watched that video. I, I have it for my Warhammer uh, figures. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've, I've, I've wanted to get into like some of those, like figure games like that, like Warhammer and stuff like that. But also money. <laughs> I have I have a tank model sitting on my back shelf that's over a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I spent two hundred Canadian on it. Jesus. And that was just the model, not counting the paints. Yeah, that's oh, just, wow. That's the thing, is uh, you can't get pre-painted models, but those are expensive as well. Because oh, yeah. I think even more expensive. But yeah. if you, um, in the long run, it's cheaper to buy the not unpainted model and then paint it yourself. <laughs> yeah, it it's, gets insane, the pricing. Yeah. Granted, I'm also the one that has a $130 pen sitting next to me, so... Jesus! <laughs> Pens are cool. Sorry. If you get a good pen, it will last you quite some it's, time. It's a fountain pen. And that fountain pens will last even longer. <laughs> it's like if you if you have a good pen, and, it's and a good investment. <laughs> to go on top of it, it uses 18 karat gold furnishings and a nib. That's oh. <laughs> so it's it's fancy pen. A lot. But it will also last me literally forever. It will outlast me. It will probably yeah, it will probably end up being passed down. Yeah. The, the thing that I really want is the uh, Mont Blanc fountain pen. That's my end-all, be-all fountain mm -hmm. pen. Uh, what have you done? What have you done? I have done nothing. You have done something. It wasn't me. I, I don't believe you. Well, don't look at me. It was her. <laughs> it was, how dare you, Hunter? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to figure out which creepypasta I am. Don't judge me. <laughs> I think you're just all of them combined into one human. So no, I'm actually kind of curious. Which creepypasta would we be? Okay, yeah. that's it. That's it. What creepy <laughs> <laughs> pasta am I? <laughs> all right, I found a quiz here. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, I found one last too. Time. Oh. Are you on the pro profs quiz? I am. <laughs> All right. Start. Okay, I, I, okay, I gotta bring this up okay. down my end. Okay. Do you constantly <laughs> smile? Um, no, I have no face. <laughs> I burn from ear to ear, literally. Uh, who needs oh to God. smile when you have large teeth? Uh, no, it's it's more of a smirk. Um, why the? Okay, I typed in what creepy, and the first thing that popped up was what creepy pasta am I? <laughs> that's the first thing that <laughs> yeah. popped up. Yeah, that that's okay. It's the pro profs. Are yeah. you stretchable? Who needs to stretch when you have large claws? <laughs> uh, none <laughs> no, of these apply to me. I'm not flexible. stretchable at all. I'm gonna go for that one though. Are you a killer? Yes. Now go to sleep. I drive people to suicide. Now spread the word. Yes, I eat the ones I kill. Sometimes only to Pokemon. When I want to be. <laughs> Only to Pokemon. Uh, oh, yeah, Only that's a. Th I know that one. That's Lavender Town. Oh, wait, no, friend. Lavender Town is the one that drives suicide. Who's <laughs> your best friend? Smile Dog, Jeff the Killer. I have no friends. Friends who need. I need no friends. I had a friend once, my master. I'm going to go with I had a friend once. He left for Virginia, though. I think he was trying to get away. <laughs> it failed. It failed, though. It failed. I have contacts. I, I have contacts in Virginia. <laughs> Uh, do you like the dark? Yes, perfect for killing sleeping people. Now nah, you want them alive. 
The fear makes, makes them taste better. Oh. <laughs> oh, so many of these agree with me. Um, yes, it hides... <laughs> Yes, it hides me so I can catch food. Yep. You an animal. Yes, I'm me. a memorable. Yes, I because am I can experiment. blend in with it. I'm a Pokemon. I'm a human. I am a grumpy cat. That is what I am. <laughs> uh, are you usually covered in blood? Yes, I have problems eating my fingernails. It means I have blood covering my hands pretty constantly. Same. Um, if you had to kill someone, how would you do it? Uh, yada 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 <laughs> yada yada yada. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Slowly electrocute all of their body parts, then burn them alive. I like that one. Perfe personally, I'd go for gas chamber, but that one works. That's the fun, the surprise death for them, or maybe even you. I got mm. BR VR. Fervor. You live that in one, a Pokemon channel game before being abandoned. Uh, what? I'm what? I'm gonna show you uh say Pokemon. Copy image or no copy image address. Oh, that's fun. Whoa. Um <laughs> I'm, see. What? Should I should I send you the image? Yes. <laughs> Okay. I shared my macaroni art with you. <laughs> Save. I'll share I it back. Why do I feel like you probably got like Jeff the Killer or Clockwork? <laughs> Actually, no. Sadly, I got Ben Drowned. Huh. I wouldn't okay. say I'm a Ben Drowned That's person, I though. Thought. I guess it has like some generic people in there, though. Check the uh, Discord. Oh, yes. You got that one. Nice. It's pretty nice. I can agree with it. I like that. I has a new clue. Um, I demand a recount. <laughs> here, uh, uh, let me find you uh, so I can send it to you so you can see what I. Yeah, got. I'm on. The, I'm on the server. So. I uh, okay. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. I'm about to uh, go here. Add this. Open. <laughs> at. Oh, we're just rabbit holing here. down something. Good old rabbit at holes. here. Upload, send now. <laughs> it's, the, it's a creepy Pikachu. It is. I also sent it an announcement and adhered. <laughs> so, They're going to be like, what the fuck is this? And then just watch the podcast. <laughs> and be like, oh. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes more sense now. <laughs> Someone already replied. Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, and people watching the podcast, if you want to know what we're talking about, uh, join Twisted's Discord server, which yes. you should do anyway. And you probably already are on. But probably. Probably. If you're not, I don't know where it's linked. <laughs> um. It's linked. <laughs> uh, that's something for our editor to mess with. Yes. Yeah. Odin, that ain't my job description. This, he's been the one editing these. Yeah, Odin, you're gonna you're gonna have to put a link somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we just shout to Odin. It's literally Odin. It's not the person Odin. It's actually Odin. It's Odin. He needed some extra cash to spend in Asgard, so <laughs> so we, we hired him as our. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I'm saying this. I'm not even technically part of Twisted Fictions. <laughs> I'm literally just the only guest that will come on regularly. Apparently more Basically. regularly than most of the people that are actually members of the Walkers the World Tree. If I remember uh, correct if I remember correctly, it's because we're trying we're trying out dynamics is why. Yeah. Like, who works well with who and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, you know, where, eventually where you they, eventually there will be probably be a guaranteed cast. I maybe, I don't know. I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I, more than 90%, I don't think we will have a guaranteed cast. Never. Except for me, of course. Because I'm just, I'm just always here. Always, <laughs> always the guest. Always the guest. <laughs> always the guest, never the member. At this That's... point, you're more of a, oh, more of the host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not wrong. Oh, God. I'm dropping brass things. 
You're the host that's oh. being dragged along at these adventures. No, essentially. <laughs> Believe me, that's already happening with Twisted's planned podcast. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. I know apparently I'm supposed to be on a writing podcast with him at some point. That's oh, what yeah. it is. Al Alice, which <laughs> pot did you get? I didn't do the quiz. <laughs> Why? Really? Go, go do it. Do I'll, it now. I, I do it. Cool. <laughs> We oh, shall yeah, wait for yeah, you. Yeah. This shall be edited. <laughs> Do I constantly smile? Yes. Because I'm a smiley person. Am I stretchable? I we could sort test of flexible? It. We, we, we could test it out. We could find yeah. out. Give me a few minutes. I'll get it set up. All right. I, I have a good bed that has some nice solid wood things that we can attach cables to. Oh. Get a couple, oh. winches. Get, get a couple winches. You were oh. suggesting a bed? Oh. Well, I mean, I'm thinking along the lines of, uh, what's that Greek myth? I was going to find some horses. I mean, that works. Why oh, are we had, drawing we quartering me? I mean, we, we, got, we got, wait, we wait, got wait, wait, goats wait. outside the house. It's, I'll go it's get them. We, we could attach him to two uh, trains and then have them go in opposite directions. Ooh. Why am I being, like, drawn <laughs> and quartered or freaking... With trains. Oh, hush, TV head. It's for science. <laughs> it's not Wednesday, but I'm gonna do that scream. Wonderful. <laughs> Have you done the quiz oh, yet? Alex, I clicked the wrong thing. Shit. You idiot. I'm no! restarting the, I'm restarting the quiz. <laughs> I fucked up. I'm restarting the quiz. You done fucked up. You done fucked up. I'm just gonna go. Just... I'm gonna do it again, but with the weirdest answers they have. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um. Do, 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 do. You got more res more responses on your image. <laughs> oh, let's see here. <laughs> this is another one, and then a new one. <laughs> very good riddle you should watch these riddle if you aren't watching this i will hunt you down and i will disassemble you oh i will force him to look at penny oof it is more like quarters that's now. true heartbreak okay uh da 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 I forgot how slow this laptop is. Ruri. Uh, I got Smile Cat. <laughs> smile Cat. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's something related to Smile Dog. Probably. <laughs> smile dot cat slash granny. Yeah, that, that's something related to I, that's probably related to Smile Dog because it's Smile Dog JPEG is the Im, the image. Yeah, that supposedly... nothing, nothing is known about you at the moment. Let's let's look this up. I don't want to be doing this, but I am for <laughs> science. Well, you're science. in science. So you're okay. Uh, nothing was found. Oof. I feel like I'm glad. I am vaguely scared now. I'm almost done. Don't worry. Am I even covered um, in blood? No, I don't like being wet. <laughs> <laughs> so when you type in smile.cat, it, uh, you know what? Just go try it. <laughs> type in <laughs> smile.cat. And it's not what comes up that's weird, but what doesn't. Mm? Namely, the 404 error doesn't come up. Oh. Concern. Only a singular dash comes up. That's it. Oh. And I haven't seen that before. But I'm pretty sure that means that there is a web page. Someone has a web page that's a single dash. That is smile.cat. Huh. And that concerns me. <laughs> I got Creed Luvari. 
Ooh. I've been creating the lab. You knew nothing but painting abuse. You killed all your creators and went into the real world looking for an owner. Killing all who were unsuitable, you finally come across a man who ran a freak show. You took a liking to him, and now you live with them, all while scaring your master's freaks. So I'm a freak show! I like it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Well, now that we know I, everyone's creepy other, pastas, I think that would actually... Other creepy things. Um, Heaven's Gate. That murder cult. Death cult. Death um, cult. Oh, oh yeah. They, they still have a webpage, actually. Yeah. Really? And I'm on it right now. And apparently, oh actually... God. The email still responds. Oh wait, what? If you email them, it, they still respond. Um, okay. Apparently. Uh, I, mail. I'm gonna use Google Chrome. <laughs> yeah, why? You, it's it's probably not gonna show up on the podcast. Gmail. I I know. But uh, ah! <laughs> okay. Suppose this can be brought up next uh, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think this is a good time to uh, stop it before uh, Snick uh, joins a murder cult. I, no, don't, I don't worry. You I can't don't... join anymore. Oh, wait. They actually have they, uh, or sent via postal <laughs> service to. Okay. Tell us services 4757 East Greenway Road. Don't give SG. the address. Don't dox them, even though they're <laughs> mostly dead. This is a website. This is a website. Still. This is a public website. Still, they can look it up. Oh, to access our book online. There, there's a entirety. book? There's a oh, how, book? How and when Heaven's Gate may be entered. Oh, oh my, my God, God. There's a book. There's Early a classroom. <laughs> <laughs> All oh. right, guys. I think we're going to call right. that there for the tonight. Before Snack joins a cult. Yeah, before Snack <laughs> joins a cult and I come after him with a razor blade. Oh, wonderful. I feel so. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, this has you, been fun. This has been fun. You know the whole business. All the stuff are in the descriptions down below. Go check them out. Uh, check out my personal channel if you want to see more uh, creepypasta and uh, SCP related stories. I uh, will be narrating them at some point. I am lazy. <laughs> and I'll be oh. here for the next creepy podcast. Oh, wait. Is there going to be someone else that's on consistently? Yeah. Oh, finally. I think, as, I think as long as it's creepy, she'll probably be on. I probably I, be on maybe too, I can, actually. Maybe I can finally make my escape then. <laughs> oh no, don't worry. I'll still find ways. I, I think you. if she's here, she's going to make sure you're here. <laughs> oh, Anyways, wonderful. have a wonderful night, guys. Bye. Yep. Peace.